Hey what's up guys, welcome to another video. In today's video I recently got grip of details in which Kanye told someone that he was going to give them a refund and he totally never did. Let's go! Before we go any further, please do smash the like button, do leave your comments in the comment section as I'm keen to hear what you guys have to say and also share this around so that people can finally see Kanye for what he really is. If you're new here, please do smash that subscribe button. This is where we expose the disingenuous things that goes on in this industry. Kanye is no stranger. To controversy we have previously exposed him for a lot of things and when you look at the list of things that we have ex uh, um, exposed him for you will see that we have exposed him for lying on a house that was actually um, listed for rent on property 24 he was lying on a car and then we also exposed him for not paying his employees and I find that highly highly funny because these forex people they are the worst they won't do anything for you unless you pay them but here yeah, this man don't pay his employees now Kanye has been disingenuous for the longest of time and I just want you guys to see him for what he really is and like I'm saying um, this is a pattern this is something that is recurring it is happening over and over and over and over again so we are gonna jump straight into the evidence that I have and we're gonna discuss it and you guys can leave your comments in the comment section about what you guys really think about what went down here as you guys can see this guy is clearly is reeling for his refund here because on the 25th of January and this is all 2021 by the way it's it most probably still hasn't been sorted so this guy says good day sir is it possible to get the tour refund today to which Kanye then responded by Wednesday you will have sir and I mean I do if you answer me like that I'd also patiently wait for it and this guy then responds noted with thanks Wednesday came and went but nothing went on in this brass bank account at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, he texted Kanye and he was like, Afternoon, can I have it today? My guy, it's Wednesday today, can I please have this cash? And this, that, the second message was sent at half past 7. Now, when you look at that, you are going to think that there's supposed to be some urgency, right? And when I look at the rest of the messages, I can actually see that there was no urgency applied from Kanye's side. Because exactly a month later, this guy says, greetings, my guy. It's been a month now waiting. Now, I mean, that's not it. Can I please have this cash? And at that point, my patience would have run up because why am I waiting a whole month for a refund from someone that is this big revered trader why am i waiting for that small amount of money from a guy that's a millionaire i don't see how that lines up i don't see how that makes sense at all so then he gets kanye admin um in contact because that is obviously and this is what i always tell you guys go to the admins go to the people that is offering client support because they might have an answer for you and when i look at these things you know it's really bad because this bro almost waited for a whole month for um this whole thing to get sorted and the admin didn't even give him like a proper response as you guys can see um this guy is sending up in the group because obviously that would be your next solution you're gonna find out who else has been scammed by this is it a pattern um is there something i can do about it and then this guy sends in the group on the 12th of february who else is still waiting for the refund from kanya because he blocked me on whatsapp now and then the admin removed him from the group that is highly disingenuous now especially seeing that this guy paid for a tour that he couldn't attend i bet there is a good reason as to why this guy couldn't attend and the reason why i'm only bringing that up is because you guys are almost seen as celebrities so if that was a case of um the tour date is today and he was at home Baba Lass, and he couldn't go that bro would have forgotten about that 250 but there's probably solid reasons as to why he couldn't go and now he's meeting this someone that he looked up to is now denying him this 
and for me guys this really isn't strange because like i've been telling you guys let me just get to the other pictures like i've been telling you guys kanye is not someone that you the admin now my sisters like i told you and he's saying um that they must give them the money back because it's just a 250 and then the admin says regarding refunds he sees the messages in the group i don't handle that since y'all are paying in his account he will attend you guys and then you can see the first of february um he says greetings admin it's been four weeks now i'm waiting for my refund um i didn't attend the tour now now that i'm seeing this he didn't attend the tour this guy most definitely deserves a refund there's no way that he should be begging for his money like this this is disingenuous this is embarrassing this is humiliating and it is really low of Kanye, someone who claims himself as a market killer, to have someone wait like that. Now, the worst part isn't the fact that this guy came out and he spoke out against this. The worst part is that the moment this guy tried to bring this up in the group, because obviously that would be your next solution you're gonna find out who else has been scammed by this is it a pattern um, is there something i can do about it and then this guy sends in the group on the 12th of february who else is still waiting for the refund from kanya because he blocked me on whatsapp now and then the admin removed him from the group that is highly disingenuous now especially seeing that this guy paid for a tour that he couldn't attend. I bet there is a good reason as to why this guy couldn't attend. And the reason why I'm only bringing that up is because you guys are almost seen as celebrities. So if that was a case of um, the tour date is today and he was at home, Baba Las, and he couldn't go, that bro would have forgotten about that 250. But there's probably solid reasons as to why he couldn't go. And now he's meeting this. Someone that he looked up to is now denying him this. And for me, guys, this really isn't strange because like I've been telling you guys, let me just get to the other pictures. Like I've been telling you guys, Kanye is not someone that you... Because you're gonna wait a very, very, very long time for that money. I recently came on to Instagram yesterday, actually. I saw a page by the name of German Automotive Customs. And the first thing that he uploaded is at Kanye underscore US 30 which is the real Kanye obviously it's been weeks now and he posts a picture of a car now I'm thinking that he probably did some work to the car and then the second image that he uploaded is another image of the same car on his stories but this time the caption reads at Kanye underscore us 30 i'm gonna take this guy's keys till my payment is done and it's not gonna be nice i tell you please pay my money is this the type of conduct that you expect from a millionaire is this the type of conduct that you would expect from someone whose instagram name is literally a stock us 30 dow jones is this the type of conduct that you would expect of someone that is supposedly rich? Because where I'm sitting, no. No. How are you gonna have stuff done to your car and then you don't pay the people? How are you gonna host a tour, get a 250 rand, 250 rand paid into your bank account? And then you can't pay it back, but you're apparently making so much money. I don't know. This is highly disingenuous to me. For me, I feel like Kanye is just going out sad because as time goes on, more and more stuff is just coming out of the woodwork. And the thing is this, guys, he had a chance to remedy this. He told this dude, and this dude wasn't even expecting his money immediately but he told this guy by wednesday you will have your money wednesday came where was kanya missing missing so 
once again before Kanye also gets in his feelings I'm not calling for your business to close I'm not calling for you to stop your mentorships and your signals and whatever else services you are providing. All I'm calling for you is to treat your clients and people who look up to you a little bit better. That's all. Do better by them. Because this is literally not the first time where I've come to report on you treating clients like shit. Let's just be real. This is not the first time. And from the pattern that I can see, it most definitely isn't the last. If you guys had any experiences with Kanye, you guys know the comment sections are open. I'm very keen to hear about your experiences with him. If you've had experiences with him, if you came this far, please do smash the like button. Please leave your comments in the comment section. Please share this around so that people can become aware of this fake lifestyle that just isn't it because how are you gonna be a whole millionaire but you're not paying someone for the work that they did for you that is just highly disingenuous if you're new here please do smash that subscribe button this is where we expose the disingenuous things in the industry quite often and before i go let me just say i read the statement that jaguar put out um this morning i think it was this morning or last night i'm not sure all i know is that um jaguar tagged me in a post where he was asking the people should fx code close yes or no so in my next video i most definitely will be touching on that so i guess i will see you guys there i'll see you in the next one cheers